Hey everyone, it's Joanne again. I just wanted to um, go over the collective haul that I have for you guys. I've been kind of saving up. Um, I got the stuff before the end of the year and I wanted to share it with you, so let's get started. I actually went to Michael's, Target, did some online shopping, and that's about it. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is or are these flowers that I got for 50 cents from Michaels. They come in with a little bit of bling in the middle of it. I got some different colors. I thought they were going to be super cute for cards or layouts and the price, you couldn't beat them. So that was those flowers. Then I got these from the clearance section. I'm usually in the back of the aisles on the end cap. Found these. These were $1.99 each. Some rosettes, lollipop flowers. Um, I thought they would... I don't really have that many so I wanted to start a little bit of collection. I didn't want to go overboard but I thought that was a good start. Then I went to and got some of these keys with a little bit of ribbon. They're all different shapes. Um, the ends are different. They were only, I think they were a dollar. They're, they're in a dollar bin. Um, I think it's part of their new, the new stuff that they just put out. Then I hit up the Valentine section. I got some rubber stamps. These were a dollar. And these, this is what they look like. I don't have any big hearts, and I could layer these on top of each other. And I really like this. Pretty, I say sweet a lot. Those are rubber stamps. Also in the clearance on the end cap, I got some charms. Um, Arctic cake. Those are a lot of Arctic cake, and I don't have any yet, so this is my first set. Um, they were dollar ninety nine and two ninety nine. These are stick pins, and then this huge, like acrylic diamond. Um, this says breathe on it. Then I got this rubber stamp. It was only like a dollar something. And then also in the dollar section, in the dollar, dollar fifty bin, I got these chipboard shapes. And they have all kinds of different shapes towards them. But I could do some crafty stuff with those. And I also got some of these um, chipboard journals. I got two of each, different sizes. And then I picked up some ink tents, the water coloring pencils. I don't have any water coloring pencils at all. And Christina Warner did a video on how to or how they how the effect comes out, and I really like it. I like the deepness of them. So hopefully, um, with this little set, I can get what I'm going for for stamps, and maybe I'll you know upgrade to the bigger set that they have. But they're pretty expensive. I also picked up some of my a lot of first. Copics. I am so excited to use these. I do like coloring. Um, I don't have any right now, so this is my first set. I do have the Tim Holtz Distress Markers. Um, and I, I mean, I like them. I think they're really good for water coloring. I just don't like the way that they color. Some of the, the reds aren't what I was going for. So with these, I hopefully I, I start a new journey. Um, I know that the prices, if you guys don't know, the prices for Copics are going up. Uh, they went up a dollar, um, and that's pretty expensive, especially if you're trying to, you know, get a good set going so you can blend. I ordered some, actually I ordered a lot more before the end of the year um, from a website, uh, carpdm.com, and I can't wait to get those in, but this these are the starter kits, so I... I'm pretty excited to go with the Copics. I um, got some stamps and I'll show them right now, but I wanted to show you I got this from Staples. It's only five bucks. Um, I do have a set already, but some of them are drying out, so I thought that this would be good and a good addition. Um, good outlining. So I got some stuff from the dollar bin at Target. For Valentine's Day, they were a dollar. 
Um, I got these foam, foam strippers, um, these mini clips with heart chipboards on them, these stickers, and these doilies. I don't, I don't have doilies. I haven't tried them yet. Um, I do see a lot of people pairing them with their stamps, and so um, I wanted to use them and try them, see if I like them. A lot come in this little pack. I think it's like 27 um, or 24, so I, I didn't need too many. And then from online, I ordered some stamps from the Greeting Farm um, website. I got these. This is Sweet and Tonic or Toxic and Hello Ian. These are my first Greeting Farm stamps. So I'm pretty excited that I got the Copics to go with them. Also the watercoloring ink tents, uh, pencils. And then I got my first set of La La Land craft stamps. I got this from Zibit.com. I'll post a link below. Um, these were also on sale, so I couldn't resist because I'm all about saving money when it comes to crafting because it's a pretty expensive addiction. <laughs> and then I'm part of the Simon Says Cards Card Club. Um, this was this month's card um, kits stamp. Every month you get like a stamp to go along with it. Um, I thought it was pretty cool because I don't really have too many good stamps um, when it comes to Valentine's or anything like that. But you can use this for basically anything. So I'm pretty excited about that. Then, My Cute Stamps is having a liquidation sale. And I got My Cute Stamps a long time ago. Um, Britta Swiderski actually did a video on their stamps and I thought they were the cutest thing. They're actually really, they're made really well. So I picked them up. They were really dirt cheap. They don't really have that many more um, because they're not restocking any of their stuff. So if I were you, I'd go check it out. Sorry, it's an enabler alert. But if you have the willpower, I guess you don't have to worry about it. So I picked up these. I can't wait to use some of these. Some coloring, card making. And then I got this. Don't really have too many Christmas stamps. And then I got this. So that I have a, um, probably a couple more that I have gotten. Um, I got this. Oh, I got a long time ago. Sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. I got this. My uh, best friend doesn't do crafting. And whenever she wants to do a project, which she's been wanting to do more often, more regularly, um, whenever she gets stuff, I get to keep it because she doesn't collect it. She just uses it for that one project, so I scored on that stamp. I did pick up these paper packs from Michaels, I forgot to show you. They're only $3.99. This is a Recollections one. It's a Christmas one. Uh, I also don't have too many seasonal papers um, because I, I just never really thought about it, but this last Christmas I totally needed a lot of Christmas stuff because I did so many projects that I don't normally do, so I didn't want to be caught off guard, and plus these are dirt cheap. They're usually like $19.99. For $3.99 you can't beat. And then my last paper pack that I got is this one from DCWB. I like this type of paper because it's... Um, printed on craft paper, and I'm a fan of craft paper, I just like the color of it, so this just automatically looks distressed because of the edges. It just takes, it just gives your, your project a special kind of look towards it, and I like it. Well, anyways, that concludes my collective haul. Like I said, I am getting some, I placed an order with Simon Says Stamp, um, because they had a coupon for $5 off. For December and then I also placed another one for Copics um, so they should be getting mailed in soon but hopefully if I put my cards right um, this will be one of my last hauls that are, it is so huge I have to cut back on my hauls I know that's everyone's problem but I really want to save money um, and I'm still on maternity leave so I gotta try to conserve as much money as possible and I go back to work in February, which is really sad because I don't want to leave my baby. But anyways, that was a ramble. So, yeah. 
I hope that you guys enjoyed my collective haul, and I hope you don't think I'm too sick in the head with my addiction of crafting. <laughs> um, okay, well, thanks for watching, and hope to craft with you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.